Welcome to the Afterspin, opinions from thought leaders in our state. I want to ask John Hood and Chris Fitzsimon. The North Carolina Supreme Court just gave the green light to the State Utilities Commission to resolve who's going to pay for the coal ash cleanup by Duke Energy. The public staff had recommended that half the cleanup costs be paid by the ratepayers, the other half by the shareholders. What do you think of this proposal, and is that what you think we're going to have happen, John? Yes, I think something like that will happen. I don't know that the ratio should be precisely 50-50. A lot, a lot of this is somewhat subjective, even though they have reams of data that they're trying to base the decision on. I think it is absolutely clear that the company has to bear some responsibility. I think it is absolutely clear, and the company by which I mean the shareholders uh, who ultimately own the assets, and I think that the state uh, did, made decisions over the course of decades uh, that they insist that that was ruled at or intended to provide energy at the lowest possible cost, right. knowing there'd be some consequences, and that the benefits of the energy at the lowest possible cost went to the ratepayers. So I think some combination of the two is the right answer. For the, for many of those years, we were burning coal to generate electricity, and we really weren't aware of the environmental problems uh, that it created, both the atmosphere as well as the coal ash itself. But in recent years, we've known that. Chris, what's your take on this solution? Well, I think it's the least we can do is ask uh, Duke to pay half of this. There are a lot of questions in my mind still about what Duke's response was once we knew about coal ash, once we knew about the leaking ponds, once we had the giant spill. Uh, so the public staff is the appropriate place, I think, to make this decision. I think that uh, the Supreme Court is right about that. I don't think we want anybody else doing it. Uh, remember, Duke is a regulated utility, once they get in there, but they're also a monopoly. So we have to have a mechanism to make sure that they don't just do everything to increase their profit, but serve the interests of North Carolinians as a whole. And I'm hoping the public staff will stick to their guns. Yeah, that's one of those mixed blessing kinds of things, being a regula regulated utility. My dad served on the Utilities Commission for a while, and it's a, it's a real balancing act trying to balance what's best uh, to keep the company viable and afloat, as well as what's best for uh, the shareholders. So uh, this is going to be a big story next year as we get this resolved. And we thank you for watching the Afterspin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com. <laughs>